Hi guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about vitamin B. Um, vitamin B can really screw you up, give you neuropathy if you have too much of it. So this is going to be a mini rant video about integrative doctors. So I know I praise them because I love the tests that they did. I mean, love the tests that they did. Here's the problem. They don't really go through the testing. They just lump you in with, like, mitochondrial deficiencies or whatever, which is probably true, but then they add all this extra crap that really was making me sicker, so I had to stop going. Um, now I'm just winging it on my own uh yeah so let me talk a little bit about what they prescribed now if you have methylation issues i'm sure this is a fantastic supplement but i didn't test positive for methylation issues which a lot of cfsers do but i didn't so for my specific blood work they looked at it they told me you know i only had one of the alleles but they're like why don't you try the methylated B vitamins anyway. And I specifically said, I have issues with B vitamins. They seem to always give me a headache. And they were like, no, these are fine. Nobody has any problems on these. Blah, blah, blah. So here are the methylated vitamins. Um, I will say this. For the problems that I usually have with B vitamins, these seem to be not as bad, if that makes sense. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't know. But let's take a look at this. It has choline in it. You know, that's awesome. I've done good on choline. I don't know where my lighting just went. Yeah, I do really well on choline. Um, I still take choline. And let's see what else they have. They got all these B vitamins, right? But look at the percentages of these B vitamins. Thousands of percents. Now, the first thing I look for when trying to take a multi is how much of the B vitamins do they have? Because I know that the B vitamins give me a headache. So it turns out the integrative doctors checked me for that. They checked me for B vitamins. My B12 was within range, but my B6 was too much, too high. And that can cause neuropathy and a plethora of other issues, balance issues. Um, it does damage to the basal ganglia, I believe. That's what I'm saying. And I've read some books that say CFS patients seem to have, you know, issues with the basal ganglia. But um, a lot of us are taking these supplements, so I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg, you know. But check out my b12 is fine b6 and it's not it's not very high but if you look at it um if i was looking at this and i was a doctor i would say your b6 is already high how much b6 are you taking per day and because I take the Flintstones, because I know that other multivitamins don't sit well with me, I'm only taking 200%. So if I did what they recommended, I would be taking 2,500%. So guys, just because a doctor recommends it doesn't mean it's going to work out for you. And if I had a dollar for every time everybody told me it's a Herx reaction, no, I, I just can't. Just be very, very careful. I, I've heard that too much B12 is fine, but B, too much B6 is correlated with neuropathy and other issues. And for myself personally, I get a headache and I get it like this. Granted, B vitamins do help me think because sometimes I do take uh, like 50% more B vitamins and they do help. I find that I get neuropathy right away, even even with a low headache. And it, it just depends on like the, I guess because it's probably the B12 is helping me think, but the B6 is giving me neuropathy. It's just always a game with B vitamins because you can't, they love to shove these B vitamins into every supplement and it, it like, 
I can't tolerate it. So if you're looking for a low-level B vitamin, the Flintstones, again, these are my saviors. Anyway, so they recommended I take some other bullshit, and I didn't take it because everything gives me a headache, and now I know why. So go through your blood work, see where your B levels are at, and if you do have neuropathy or um, headaches, I mean, the headaches, I think, are just my issue with B vitamins, but, you know, if you do, if you do have headaches and you do take supplements, take a good look at your supplements and compare them to your blood work. I really recommend that because you don't want to take too much of this stuff. Even this, even now, because she never mentioned this to me, I'm going to try to find a a B supplement without six in it and see if that helps me. So hopefully this video has been educational and hope you're having a great day.